Okay guys, gonna do a real cool test here real quick. And yes, that is a child on my back. So we're gonna be very efficient with how we do this. But basically we're gonna do a quick durability test between a Victory Vap TKO, an Easton Deep Six FMJ, and an Easton Access. What we're gonna do is we're gonna suspend these arrows between two chairs. We're gonna have a guy stand on it. It's gonna bend the arrow, hopefully not break it. Maybe it's gonna break some of them, I don't know. And then we're gonna put them on a spinner and see how they spin afterwards. Very simple, um, just kind of see how these arrows flex back and how they compare to each other. So let's, uh, let's get started and see if we can either snap or bend some arrows. All right, VAP TKO 300 spine. Fab TKO gets a big check mark. Okay, what's next? Yeah. 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 Easton FMJ 280. <laughs> Survived. It's right. And that has got a monster wobble. That deep safe wobble. Like it's so uh, Eastern Axis, 340s, 5 millimeter. It's not broke though. Uh, there it broke. There she went. You could hear that one crack in the whole time. Can't spin that one. Okay guys, so pretty simple test. The TKO held him and it spun good afterwards. The FMJ held him, held him really good actually. Just it didn't snap back into place and really wobbled after we put it on the spinner and then as soon as he stepped on the Easton Axis, you could hear it cracking. So then he stood there a second and it did snap. So just a little test. Uh, I think it does show that TKO, um, that is one tough arrow with how that thing's woven for woven for a carbon arrow. It is, it's tough as nails. So uh, I would highly suggest checking them out, but if not, it's a, it's a good thing to know nonetheless. Thanks for watching guys.